Last year, Samsung provided a way to make your smartphone, your very powerful smartphone, into a computer. All you needed was a dock that connected to a monitor, but it now gets an update. It's Joshua Vergara, what's going on everybody, and this is the Samsung DexPad. Now, one of the biggest issues with the deck station last year was that it wasn't very portable. It was a complete dock that allowed you to put the phone in it. It had a couple of fans in it, and then it had to connect to any monitor and hopefully have some peripherals connected to it as well. Having a keyboard and a mouse is not really as portable as people would want it to be, so the Dex pad addresses this, and it is now a flat surface that you can use your phone screen on that becomes a virtual keyboard and mouse. By default, the screen acts as a virtual trackpad allowing you to navigate the DeX, which stands for Desktop Experience, and you can go through the entire interface using it like a touchpad, going through this version of Android that allows you to use any app you have installed on your phone. Now, a number of applications may not work perfectly on here because they have to be developed and updated for the DeX experience. It's when you click on a text input field that the phone screen shows up as the same on-screen keyboard that your phone uses typically. Samsung also announced a few upgrades to the DeX experience, like output in two resolution, all powered by the smartphone. They also worked with a few developers to optimize further applications that include games, like with Final Fantasy XV Pocket Edition. There are very few partnerships still, like for example with Photoshop, it was announced with the first DeX station, but we have yet to see full optimization even with the DeX pad. Samsung does include DeX Labs in the SDK, so any developer can optimize for DeX, and it's just a matter of time before more of them do. With plenty of areas that still need to be addressed, it still remains to be seen whether or not a concept like DeX is something that people could use on the regular. You still need a monitor, and for the best possible experience, you need to have the other peripherals on hand. Uh, so maybe this might be a better solution than the one from before. We certainly think so. But is it still something you would use on the daily? Let us know in the comments below, and then stay tuned to Android Authority for even more from Mobile World Congress, and head on over to AndroidAuthority.com for all of that, because we are your source for all things Android.